Good morning. Can you guys, uh, can you guys hear the baby goats? Zian. Hi guys. If you uh, turn your volume up, you'll be able to hear the baby goats crying outside my, uh, just outside my, my, my wall there. <gasps> hey, Nico and Nicola and Thalia. Nice to see you guys. We're doing yoga this morning, so you just need a yoga mat and that's it. And a calm peace of mind. If you can find a little space. Hi, Mama. So uh, with this class, we I can only film for an hour and then it cuts me off. So I'm thinking we need to start soon. Um, and then what I might do is... 15 minutes before we end, I'll cut off this video and restart it. So you just have to quickly reconnect with me and I'll obviously tell you so that I can just finish and finish off nicely with you. Um, if that makes sense because I'm still not official so I can't go longer than an hour. Okay, we're just gonna wait a few moments. So you can just come onto your mat already and uh, try ignore the goats wailing in the back. <gasps> Hi, Moo. Um, Come onto, yeah, come onto your mat and we will just start in a seated position. Alicia, starting in a seated position. So Mu and Alicia, I was just saying, I can only do an hour on, uh, on this live. So towards the end, I'll cut it off and then just reconnect with me and I'll, I'll let you know that I'm doing that. Um, just so we can have a full hour together. Okay? Alrighty. So... Make your way onto your yoga mat. And wherever you are, just come to a seated position, however you like. On your knees, cross-legged. You can sit on a little cushion. You can roll your mat up a few times if you need a little support into your hips. Or if you have a yoga block, you can pop yourself onto that. And bring your hands, palms face up, into your lap onto your knees, whatever's really comfortable for you. Shrug your shoulders away a few times. Roll your neck out. Just make yourself really comfortable, okay? Close your eyes. And today I've got the lovely sound of birds chirping, goats bleating, and the odd rooster every now and then. So it does feel like I'm really practicing in the wild a little bit, which is great. So wherever you are, can you just bring your awareness to the sounds that you hear? in the room, or maybe from the noise in the streets outside your window. Just bring yourself into the present moment. We can use those sounds to do that. Eyes are closed, sitting up nice and straight. Feel like this, uh, this light and energy putting you through the top of your head. Take a nice big inhale. And a slow exhale out your mouth. Inhaling through your nose. Exhaling out your mouth. Keep breathing this way, nice and deeply. One more inhale. Exhale. And then just bring your left hand to your heart and your right hand to your belly. As you inhale, start to feel that your chest expands and then your belly, breathe into your hands. And then exhale, slowly release, feel your hands releasing down into your body. Again, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And then slowly bring your hands to heart center. Palms facing together. Shoulders away from your ears. 
And just take a moment now to set an intention for the next hour together. You've made the effort to be on your yoga mat. You've made the effort to dedicate one hour of your time today to your own mind, to creating a little space in your mind and in your body. And if you're new to yoga or you don't do a lot of yoga, that's totally fine. This is an, an all levels class. And you don't have to worry about what you look like, rather how you feel in each pose. Make sure that you're listening to your body and you're working around any injuries. And if something doesn't feel good, you can always come into child's pose. Take a nice big inhale here. Exhale. Blink your eyes open. Let's have a beautiful class together. All right, making your way onto your knees into a child's pose. So knees out nice and wide, toes touching at the back. And then bring your forehead onto the ground. Hands walk out to the front of your mat. Nice wide fingers. Bring your forehead onto the ground. And your shoulders are away from your ears here. And you're just going to start to breathe in through your nose and out through your nose. This is called a ujjayi breath. And it's very detoxifying and warming. It warms you up from the inside. It's also going to give you a focal point or an attention to your breath throughout the practice. So I want you to always breathe in through your nose and out through your nose. And when you exhale, you bring like a rasping sound to the back of your throat. And that's going to really create a nice energy, okay? So practice your ujjayi breathing now. And just feel your forehead attached to the earth. Your elbows and your hands attached to the earth, grounded down, connected with something today. Really feel that connection on your mat as you breathe nice and deeply. You can have your eyes closed here for the last few more breaths. One big inhale. Exhale through your nose. Feel that connection. Inhale. Exhale. One more inhale. Exhale. Good, and gently come up onto all fours. So stacking your wrists underneath your shoulders and your knees underneath your hips. Take a few rounds of cat cow. So inhaling, your heart opens forward. Exhale, round down, look towards your navel. Tuck your chin to your chest. Inhale, heart shines forward, look up. Exhale, round down, push your shoulders away. This should feel really juicy. Make it big and juicy. Move with your own breath now. And let the effects of this ripple down your spine. So move from your pelvis all the way through to your shoulders. Heart shines open. And then round down, look towards your belly. Push your shoulder blades out the back. Good, come to a flat back. Tuck your toes under, send your hips back into a downward facing dog, your first downward dog of the day. And don't stay still here, so walk your feet out, bending one knee and then the other. Okay, you can adjust your feet as you need to, so feet are at hip width distance or maybe a little bit wider. Hands are at shoulder distance, shoulder width. And you really are pushing your upper body towards your lower body, bending into your knees, bending one knee and then the other, swaying your hips from side to side. It feels good. Just move where you need to right now. Move where it feels good for your body. Okay, really trying to send your upper body towards your lower body. So draw the pits of your belly in and up. And as you exhale, send your upper body back, back, back. Your drishti, your focal point, your gaze is in between your feet. Now find stillness here. Shoulders away from your ears. Ujjayi breathing in through your nose and out through your nose, nice and slowly. Focused, listening to the sounds in the room. And just be here. Be in this pose right now. This beautiful stretch, the whole back side of the body is stretching right now. One more inhale. One more exhale, bend your knees, look towards your hands and step lightly towards your hands. 
Bring your feet together, toes touching, ankles touching. Inhale, we halfway lift. Bring your hands to your shins or maybe the fingertips to your mat. Okay, do what works here for your body as long as you've got a nice flat back. Shoulders are away from your ears. On an exhale, you forward fold, bringing your hands down to the mat. Tuck your chin, look towards your belly. Let's do that again. Inhale, we halfway lift, shoulders roll back. Draw the pits of your belly in and up. Everything is intentional here. Exhale, we forward fold, look towards your belly button. One more time. Inhale, we halfway lift, shoulders roll away. Pits of the belly draws in. Exhale, we forward fold, look towards your belly button. And then suck your belly to your spine and roll up all the way to standing one vertebra at a time, nice and slowly, stacking, stacking, stacking. As you come to the top, inhale, look up, look towards your fingertips, stretch up. Real big stretch here. Hips come a little bit forward, maybe tiny little back bend. And then exhale, forward fold all the way down, swan dive. Look towards your belly button. Halfway lift, inhale. And then exhale, step back into your high plank. We're going to do high to low plank. You can either stay off your knees or you can come down onto your knees. Do what feels right in your body. Whenever we do this uh, chaturanga, and we'll do a fair amount of them soon, make sure that you're doing what's right for you, okay? So you can either come from high to low plank, which is just a little bend in the elbows, and you're just hovering off the floor, or you can come onto your knees and lower all the way down, okay? You just have to do what feels right in your body. So decide what you're doing, come into your high plank position, either on your knees or off your knees. Chaturanga, low plank. Inhale into a mini cobra or an up dog. And then send your hips back, downward facing dog. Let's do that a few more times, just so you can get into the flow. You need to connect your breath with one movement. So inhale, you come forward into a high plank. Exhale, low plank on your knees or off your knees. Inhale, into an up dog. Exhale. Downward facing dog, find a nice flow now. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, low plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale back, downward facing dog. Inhale, come up onto your tippy toes. Exhale, bend your knees, look forward, step towards your hands. Inhale, you halfway lift. Either hands to shins or onto the ground. Exhale, we forward fold, look towards your belly. Suck your belly to your spine, root to rise all the way up to standing. On an inhale, look up. Exhale, you forward fold. Inhale, you halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, step back into a high plank, lower all the way down to your lower, either on your knees or off your knees. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, up onto your toes. Exhale, bend your knees, look forward. Step or float towards your hands. Feet together. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Belly to spine, all the way up to standing. Reach up, look up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, high plank, chaturanga. Inhaling, up dog. Exhaling back, downward facing dog. Take a big inhale here. Open your mouth side out. Inhale. Let it out. Ujjayi breathing. Breathing in through your nose and out through your nose. In through your nose, out through your nose. Inhale, up onto your tippy toes, exhale, bend your knees, look forward, step or float, feet together. Halfway lift, shoulders roll away, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Root down to rise all the way up to standing, one big breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, step back, Chaturanga Dandasana, high to low. Inhaling up, exhaling, downward facing dog. Inhaling up onto your toes, exhale, bend your knees, look forward, step or float, toes touching. Inhale, we halfway lift, exhale, forward fold. Utkatasana, chair pose. Sweep your arms up and send your hips back. Now you wanna focus on tucking your tailbone under. Don't stick your butt up, tuck your tailbone under and draw the pit of your belly in. Arms, options for arms here. I find this really tiring in my shoulders. So I like to come into uh, cactus arms. I bring them out to the side, out to the side like that. Nice, turned on fingertips. Everything's always intentional in yoga. So you're squeezing your thighs together and you're sinking your hips back a little bit deeper. Keep your ujjayi breathing, breathing in through your nose and out through your nose. 
bring your drishti up to the corner of the room. Feel the energy inhaling. Feel the energy exhaling. One more inhale. Exhale, forward folds. Inhale, we halfway lift. Exhale, step back, Chaturanga Dandasana, high to low. Option for knees, inhaling up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Bring your right leg up to the sky behind you and then step it through, come into a warrior one. So you're planting your back foot into a 45 degree angle and you've got your 90 degree angle in the right leg. Arms come up. Make sure that you're trying to get your hips to face the front of your mat. Okay, they may not square off there, but that's the direction they're going in. That's what you're thinking. Keep that right knee stacked over your right ankle. Look up, feel grounded in this pose. It's like your feet are so strong into the mat that they are solid. If I had to come over and just push you, you wouldn't fall over because you're grounded. Ooh, jai breathing here. Shoulders roll away. One more inhale. Exhale, hands down, step back into your high plank. To your low. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left leg comes up to the sky behind you. Step it through. Warrior one. Now you're on the 45 degree angle of that back foot. 90 degree angle on your left knee. Stacking over your left ankle. Arms come up. Hips towards the front of your mat. Shoulders away. Look up. Breathe. Ujjayi breathing. Breathing deeply and intentionally assists you in your poses. Feeling solid in the feet. Really rotate the outer blade of that right foot out. One more inhale. And exhale. Plant your hands down. Step back. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale up. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Take a big inhale here. Flutter your lips. Inhale. Again, flutter your lips. Like a horse. Back to Ujjayi breathing in through your nose. Out through your nose. In. And out. In on your toes, come up. Exhale, bend your knees, look forward, step towards your hands. Inhale, we halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Utkatasana, chair pose, sweep your arms up for one breath, nice and juicy chair pose, tuck your tailbone. As you exhale, forward fold, look towards your navel. Inhale, we halfway. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhaling up. Exhaling, downward facing dog. Inhale. That foot comes up behind you, step it through, warrior one, breathe in, breathe in, breathe in. Hips, exhale, we open up, warrior two. Now your hips face the side of your mat and you're looking over your right fingertips. Make sure those shoulders are away from your ears. Inhale, we reach forward, reverse your palm, reverse your warrior, reach up and back. Don't collapse into that left side body. Feel yourself drawing up that right side to reach up and back. And then exhale, cartwheel your hands down. Frame either side of your foot, step back into your high plank to your low. Inhaling, up dog. Exhaling, downward facing dog, left side, leg comes up. Step it through, warrior one on the left hand side. Think about that outer blade of that right foot pressing down. As you exhale, open up, warrior two, looking over your left fingertips, ignited fingertips, big hands, shoulders away. Reach forward, reverse your warrior up and back as you inhale. Really feel that beautiful stretch down the left side body. Don't collapse too much into the right. You're lifting. And then exhale, cartwheel your feet down. Hands down, step back into your high plank to your low. Inhaling up. Exhaling downward facing dog. Inhaling up into your toes. Exhale, bend your knees. Step or float towards your hands. Toes and ankles touching. Inhale, we halfway lift. Exhale, forward, forward, look towards your belly button. Utkatasana, one breath, breathe in. Exhale, we forward, fold. Halfway lift, inhale, exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhaling up and exhaling down. Right leg comes up to the sky behind you, step it through, warrior one, breathe in, one breath. Exhale, warrior two. Reverse your warrior, inhale. Exhale, cartwheel down, high to low. Inhaling up, 
exhaling downward facing dog left leg comes up to the sky behind you step it through warrior one breathe in breathe out warrior two big movements reverse your warrior inhale exhale cartwheel down high to low exhale 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 inhaling up exhaling downward facing dog good job take a breath here adjust your downward dog how you need to beautiful long ujjayi breaths here your drishti your focus your gaze is just in between your feet soften your eyes a bit one breath one movement is so good to keep your mind present so good to build heat up in your body take one big inhale come up onto your tippy toes exhale bend your knees look forward step or float towards your hands toes and ankles together inhale halfway lift shoulders roll away exhale we forward fold ukatasana chair pose so come into your come into your chair making sure that your knees are aligned suck your belly to your spine rotate that tailbone down come to cactus arms so just be really comfortable here come down a little bit more and bring your hands to your heart center roll your shoulders away from your ears and on an inhale Feel yourself grow taller, but your knees are still bent. And then on an exhale, we twist to the right. And you're looking down at your knees to make sure that they're aligned. You're pushing your hands together, roll your left shoulder away from your ear. And now look over your left shoulder. Keep bringing those hips down. Keep shining your heart open to the ceiling or the sky or wherever you're practicing today keep ujjayi breathing that's the most important breathing in juicy twists twist twist as you exhale one more inhale exhale come up into chair pose keep the pose i know it's tough i know it burns a little bit but this is good hands to heart center twist the opposite way to your left bringing the outer blade of your right arm into the outside of your left knee Make sure that your knees are together. Draw the pit of your belly in as you inhale, as you exhale. Look over that right shoulder, bring it away from your ear and twist, twist, twist. A little bit deeper. If you're shaking, this is good. One more inhale. Slow exhale. One more inhale. Exhale. And forward fold, good job. Shake your legs out a little bit. Shake them out, shake them out, shake them out. So heel your feet open, grab hold of your big toes with your peace fingers, palms facing each other. So you're at hip width distance with your feet. Bend into your knees, look forward, hello. And as you exhale, forward fold, bring your elbows out to the side and your upper body onto your lower body. So if that means you need to bend your knees, bend them as much as you need to. Let's shake your head out, yes. Say yes, 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 today is a good day. For yoga now see if you can start to straighten your knees slightly but keep your upper body on your lower body you're really pulling up on your toes and pushing down on your fingers it's like a white knuckle grip okay shoulders away from your ears elbows out to the side one more inhale here exhale and gently release good job so bring your feet out a little wider if you need to. Do what you need to pretty much to sink down into a yogi squat here. So my feet come out like a plie. Do what you need to do to see if you can get your heels down on the ground. If that's really not accessible to you right now, you can have a blanket or a cushion or even just roll up your mat a few times to put underneath your heels so that you feel really supported. Okay, nice straight back and hands at heart center. You're pushing your knees out with your elbows. Should be quite a nice hip opener in a way. See if you can sit in here, letting your hips sink down towards the earth. If it feels a little bit uncomfortable, just stay with it, stay present, stay with the sounds of the room. Don't let your mind wander into your place of negativity right now. Ujjayi breathing to connect 
and then gently place your right fingertips on the ground out in front of you and then bring your left hand up to the sky in a gentle twist so you're looking up towards your left fingertips just feel what that sensation feels like and switch sides left fingertips down right fingertips up You release your right fingertips down to the ground and then staying where you are shuffling onto your feet onto the balls of your feet you're going to start to come up into crow or practice crow if crow's in your pose go for it right now if it's not in your pose <laughs> crow's in your practice go for it right now if it's not then uh, what you're going to do is just practice on getting your knees up onto your triceps and then start to rock backwards and forwards we're just playing with balance Okay, crow is when you bring both your feet off the ground in a balance, an arm balance. And remember, if you fall, you're not that far away from the ground. I've face planted many times in the beginning, and uh, I promise you it doesn't hurt that much. It's more the fear of it. So you're just going to rock backwards and forwards, maybe lifting one leg, one foot off the ground, put that down, lift the other. Just playing around with your balance, seeing your strength. The idea really is to get your knees above your elbows on your triceps, okay? And then if you've got it, you can hold it a little bit. Bring your toes together and start to straighten out your elbows. Getting your hips up as nice and high as possible. Breathing into it. And wherever you are in your practice, just shoot your feet back into a high plank. Come through a chaturanga, low plank. Inhaling into an up dog. And exhaling back, downward facing dog. Take a big inhale here. Exhale. Bring your left leg, uh, foot into the middle of your mat and your right toes up to the sky behind you. Bend your right knee and stack your hips. You can come onto the, uh, the fingertips of your right hand. And you can either stay here this is good, this is comfortable, stay here. Or you can flip your dog, step back with your right foot and reach forward with your right fingertips. World is upside down, a reflection of our world at the moment maybe. And just knowing that that's okay and we'll somehow get back to what it was before or a slightly different version. Take one more inhale, high, high hips. And then exhale as gracefully as possible. Bring your weight back into a downward facing dog. And we'll take that on the other side. So bring your right foot into the center of your mat. The left foot comes up to the sky behind you. Bend your left knee and stack your hips and just feel how good that feels to open up. You're looking underneath your left armpit. And then if you want to, flip your dog on this side too. So step back reach forward really feel that nice juicy heart opener and compression into your back as your hips lift a little bit higher oh jai breathing and as gracefully as possible make your way back into a downward facing dog take one big inhale here Side out. Inhaling, ujjayi breath. Exhaling through your nose. Bring your right leg up to the sky behind you. Step it through this time into a crescent lunge. So you're on the ball of your back foot, like a low runner's lunge. Make sure that your right knee is stacked over your right ankle and then come up. Now, options here to stay off your knee, your back knee, okay, in the twist. Another option is to come down onto that knee. By all means, that is also a really good pose and you're gonna get a really good twist out of it. So do what feels good for you today. Hands to your heart center and twist to your right. You bring the outer blade of your left arm onto the outside of your right knee and you're looking over your right shoulder. Draw that shoulder away from your ears. As you inhale, feel yourself lengthen through the crown of your head and as you exhale, twist a little bit deeper, shining your heart open. One more breath and exhale come back up 
into your high lunge, open out warrior two. So you're planting your back foot at 45 degree angle. Take an extended side angle, bringing your right elbow onto your right knee and your left fingertips over towards the front of your mat. You're looking underneath your left elbow. Don't collapse into this right, okay? In fact, let's bring our right hand up like you're holding a big ball. So this stays nice and still. All of this stays nice and still. This is tough. Breathe into it, Ujjayi breathing. It's like you're holding a big, big ex exercise ball or a big balloon. So you're staying strong in that side body. Reach, 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 reach. And then warrior two. Straighten out your front knee. Trikonasana, reaching forward with your right fingertips. Bring your right hand down and your left hand up. Now options here, this is Trikonasana too, huh? With your right hand up on your thigh. If you wanna go, you go lower, you go lower, you go lower. It feels good, you touch the ground. You do what feels good for you. You're looking up at your left fingertips or if this doesn't work in your neck today, you can look down at your right toes. Breathing. One more. Exhale, bend gently into that right knee. Come back into warrior two. Flip your palm, reverse your warrior up and back. Feel a like juicy stretch on the right side and then cartwheel your hands down. Step back into your high plank. So you're low. Inhaling, up dog. Exhaling back, downward facing dog. Left leg comes up to the sky behind you. Step it through, crescent lunge. You're on the ball of that back foot. Option to come down into your right knee or stay off it. Arms come up. Feel solid here. If you're feeling a bit wobbly, you can bring your legs out wider on your mat. So give yourself more surface area to cover, in a way. Bring your hands to your heart center, twist to your left. So find this nice solid twist here. Looking over your left shoulder, you're pushing into the, ball, uh, the heel of your right foot. So don't let this right knee collapse. If, you, if you've got it off the ground, you're pushing into it. Breathing nice and deeply. That left shoulder rolls away from your ears. As you inhale, you lengthen through your crown. As you exhale, twist a little more. It's so juicy, so detoxifying. One more inhale. And exhale, come back up into crescent lunge. Open up warrior two. You're planting your back foot at a 45 degree angle. Come forward into a side angle on this side. So you bring your left elbow onto your left knee, reaching forward. Remembering not to collapse into this left side body. You're holding yourself up still. You're looking up and over your right armpit, underneath your right, right armpit. Make sure that your left knee is stacked over your left ankle and then hold that big, big balloon. Keeping everything still. Ujjayi breathing. One more. And gently come up into warrior two. Straighten out your front knee, reach forward, trikonasana. Taking trikonasana on this side where it feels good. Either keep it up high, or if you want to, you come down to where it feels nice. But what you're trying to achieve here is opening your heart up to the ceiling or the sky, either looking at your right fingertips or looking at your left toes. But you want your heart open. Ignited fingers. Breathing deeply here. Yeah, and gently release back into your warrior two. Reverse your warrior up and back. Feel that juicy stretch down your left hand side. Cartwheel your hands down, step back into your high plank. So you're low. Inhaling up, exhaling, downward facing dog. Good, take a nice breath in here. Big exhale. And then just make your way into child's pose. So knees out wide, toes touching. I'm gonna cut the video here and uh, reconnect with me, okay? So I'm ending and I'm coming straight back on so that we can have another good 40 minutes together. Here we go, see you now.